Now, with the previous releases, it was just the cult following you had, basically. And with this record, it seems that the whole thing is going to crack, that uh, suddenly people are listening to um, black metal or music that you play that um, haven't been into that stuff before. Is that something you've realized, too? Yeah, actually, I've realized that, too. But I think that's because uh, we're not a typical black metal band. Mm -hmm. I think we're more, uh, more melodic than all the other bands and stuff like that. And this is a good sound production also helps it a lot, so... I think that, yeah, well, good sound production and, like, good music, that's all you need, actually. easy for a lot of different types of people to like our new album because we have so much different influences influences in our music you know they were like gothic uh, heavy metal uh, trash metal and black metal you know mm -hmm. if you mix all the stuff together it makes it something special and it's also have a lot more sell potential because uh, a lot of people can like the album anyway you know? mm -hmm. surprising to me because um, if if there was ever black metal bands to be to become uh, commercially successful then I would I would have said okay maybe Satyricon maybe Emperor but those bands they're just irrelevant when it comes to record sales and and there's bands like you and maybe Cradle of Filth that nobody had on the plan that uh, all of a sudden sell the records what could be the reason for that I think the reason is that because Emperor and Satyricon want to stay on the ground they don't want to be commercial like us Although commercial is not a bad word, it's not like we're selling out, we're just making them, yeah, music more accessible to other people. And uh, it's just the fact that we wanted to get out of the underground and like sign to a bigger label. Like for instance, Satyricon, they've had offers from Nuclear Blast too, but they refuse to take it because they want to stay underground. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the wrong attitude to go around with like music. There's no rule that says black metal has to be underground. Shaka, do you think that um, now with the, the thing, I would say, not really booming, but um, being more popular than it used to be, that there's a lot of bands coming that sooner or later will ruin the whole genre because there are just too many, like it happened to death metal? Yeah, that's already happened, you know, it's too many bands are just and too many labels, and when it comes to this black metal thing, there's just kids who just wanted to start up labels and stuff like that, and it's just too many of them. Um, and you just sign everything, you know, that's why black metal has become so fucking... Uh, yeah, in my words, it's fucking stupid. I hardly listen to any black metal anymore. I listen to a few bands, but it really doesn't interest me because it's only shit bands around all the time. <laughs>
Festivalkomitee.